Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Black Closet, part 3. Last time, we did not do so well on uh, the assignments, and we also were warned that we had to decide who our traitor was by the end of the month, and I think I'm pretty much sticking to my guns. I think I'm sticking to that Mallory is our traitor, even though Vaughn has been giving me some mixed signals. I'm hoping that it's just her reserved nature and not the fact that I got Mallory completely wrong. So, let's get started. Alright, we're on October 10th. We got midterms week coming up, the Harvest Festival where we have to decide who our trader is, and then Halloween. I wonder if there's going to be something for Halloween. Begin the week. Alright, new case, number 10. Yadira and Yasmin have been, out, have been circulating dark rumors about Gina, that she's secretly a witch, plotting to curse or otherwise harm her classmates. Is she the victim of a whisper campaign or a danger to the school? Probably a victim. Number 11. Felicia has been heard saying that our friends Kimberly and Mag Magdalena? Yeah, Magdalena are planning a surprise that will shock the entire school. Investigate originally. Alright. Althea and Thais are absent due to stress. It's fine. We'll leave them alone a little bit. Alright. Oh, we're still on the track student one too. Okay. Let's see. She was suspiciously evasive. That's right. So, Damara, I really should probably put in detention. Yeah, I'll put her in detention. And then let's get started on um, that. We can use Mallory because we're just we're just. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm being quiet. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm kind of worried about this Council Karma, but um, anyway, we're just, for these ones, of course, we're just trying to see what their stats are, and hopefully we can go ahead and finish up um, the number nine right now, because I kind of want to get some Council Karma back. Ooh, 35 and 20, not bad. Demara cracks under pressure and promises not to interrupt school events in the future. The Council gains two Karma. Thank goodness we need it. Okay, Molly against Yadira. I'm not expecting a lot. 77 and 32. Success! Wow. Oh god. I really hope I got it right, Mallory, being the traitor. Yudira says, Gina, I heard she's got a makeshift chandelier of black castles in her room. You may now search Gina's room. Let's see. And Felicia. 64. 27. Good. Felicia says, I can't tell you that. It That was so well of a surprise. Well, the sports meet was a success. The school gains five reputation. Fantastic. We needed a win. We absolutely needed this one. Okay. So I'm going to try to leave these two alone for just a second. Um, just to try to get that back up. Um, let's int let's question her. Question Yasmin. And question... Magdalene. Yeah, I want to leave these two alone for a bit. I wonder how you get rid of these lemons. Do I just have to use them? I don't know. Um... Yeah, but I want to go ahead and leave these two alone for a bit since they're my heavy hitters and I really need to start training people too. Okay, let's see. 75. Oh, good. Gina says, I'm different from other girls. Some people fear what they can't understand. Interesting, Gina. Okay. That doesn't necessarily mean that she's targeting anybody though. Um, let's see. 70 and... 61. Too close. Everyone knows Gina's weird. She wears some kind of amulet necklace. That's not normal. It sounds like they're really just being mean to the poor thing. 67. 51. Magdalene can tell you it was full of a surprise. No new information. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and have the, somebody search Gina's route, which I think is an observation thing. Which I'll send Vaughn to do. Search. Or maybe I will not do that. Yeah, no. There we go. That's fine. There we go. Awesome. Um, and then... What should I do next? Let's send Mallory to question her. Yeah. And, well, I can probably use go ahead and use my hard hitters. Um... Sh 
goth question mark classic plotter better friends Kimberly and I are planning a surprise maybe I should harass them now yeah hmm all right let's we can still try it done all right Gina's room stealth 42 Nice. You quietly search Gina's room. Alright, observation. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, you find a makeshift chandelier back handles. It was in plain sight. This is suspicious. You may now detain, suspend, and expel Gina. Uh, I don't want that. I don't know. It doesn't mean she was going to hurt anybody. 71, 66. Ah, it's Mallory. I'm, I'm sorry. It's definitely Mallory. Okay, let's see. 91, 39. Leave me alone. We're not doing anything. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, God. Okay, great. Please don't lose any more karma. Okay, so they're... Felicia and her friends carry out their plan, raising awareness of the dangers of drunk driving by wearing black and going silent for a day. Looks like it was harmless after all. Oh, my God. Okay. That was really, really bad. Negative. Oh, God. Oh, man. This is really bad. Okay. All right. I need a win. So let's go through this again. They've been circling dark rumors about her that she's secretly a witch, planning to curse or otherwise harm her classmates. Is she the victim of a whisper campaign or danger to school? Okay, a black sheep in the flock. Hmm. Hmm. Oh no. I don't know about this. I don't want to. I don't want to harass her. Maybe we need to talk to her again. I just want to just want to talk to her one more time. I, I'd feel really bad if um, if it wasn't her, you know. Let's just see. I don't know. Oh, we're on Thursday, so we gotta solve this tomorrow. Okay. Gina or she's got okay. Um yeah, I really don't know about this. I guess I'm gonna have to detain her. Yeah, okay. It turns out that Gina started the rumor herself. Oh! Okay. I did not actually mean to solve that, but okay. Um, let's see. Kinda wanna leave him alone. Supply closet, I guess? Oh, man. Oh, charm. Okay. Um. Okay, let's go on the weekend. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I should probably start thinking about who I want to romance, though, so I'm not sure... I want to go for Thias or Vaughn, to be honest. I kind of want Vaughn to open up to me more. Um, but I think Thias is awesome. Let's go visit Thias. Alright, let's see. You want to go on a picnic? You want me to sit in the grass? I do have a picnic blanket. Is it clean? Do you know which side is up? Oh, fine. I suppose I can sit with you for a while. Yeah, don't do me any favors. <laughs> you head out to the ground and look for a place. Um, public, absolutely. A few
few minutes later, Matthias arrives. Okay. Couldn't you find some shade? Sunlight is bad for my skin. Sorry. Despite her complaints, Thy settles herself onto the blanket. She sits neatly, her skirts arranged around her so that none of the fabric will touch the grass. Well, what's for lunch? Fajitas and rice. You want me to balance that on my lap? Are you trying to ruin my clothes? This isn't going well. <laughs> if you're going to eat cafeteria food, you might as well eat in the cafeteria where there are tables and napkins and so forth. <laughs> Thus, complaints do not prevent her from eating the food you have arranged. She takes dainty little bites, never dropping a morsel or smearing her makeup. Are you staring at me? Of course, I am as pretty as a picture, as usual. <laughs> do you have any artistic accomplishments, Elsa? Perhaps you're thinking of drawing me or something. <laughs> um, I appreciate art. I don't create it. Well, not everyone can be gifted. Gifted. As le at least you can develop your taste. Thais tips her head back, exposing her neck as she looks up at the clouds. I should have brought a sketchbook. Oh, I didn't know you drew. Actually, I finished eating, so I think I'll go draw. Okay, see you later. I'm sure it was nice seeing me, was <laughs> Oh, Thais. <laughs> Ta! Crease by five, okay. <laughs> I really hope this isn't recording. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if y'all saw that pop up. <laughs> My apologies. Um, who should we do next? What's my loyalty looking at? Everybody's 35. Um, I guess I can get her loyalty up. Um, you want to go on a picnic? A picnic? Well, that could be interesting. All right, I'll meet you outside. She'll definitely be okay with the barbecue, I'm willing to bet. We'll do public. Showing off, hmm? Are you afraid to be seen with me? I'm never afraid. <laughs> Athea lounges across the blanket, one elbow propping up her weight. I really think if you had gone to secluded, she'd be like, oh, there's a place for you and me, huh? So, I think she's just teasing. So what do you have on offer? Barbecue and macaroni, I know you'll love it. She's gotta love it, right? Nice. A bit heavy, but we can sleep it off, right? Okay. Alright. Nobody likes the barbecue. <laughs> Nowhere particular to go today anyway. Ugh. I'm really losing it on the food. Several times, younger students pause nearby to greet Althea before running off in giggles. Um, where are your fan club? I These are both mean. Um... It's flattering, but girls like that aren't very interesting. If I invited them to sit with me, they'd just babble. Or faint. <laughs> After finishing her food, Althea relaxes, taking in the outside air. You know, Elsa, sometimes... Sometimes I wonder if we keep, our so keep to ourselves too much. Not the council, the school. All of us. This place. They've set it up as an ivory tower. It's supposed to give us the best opportunities. But how can they be the best when there's so few to choose from? All these rules and, regu and regulations, all the reputations we have to keep up... They think that they know what a proper young lady ought to be, and they try to cut everyone down until we fit that shape. They want us to excel, but only in the fields they think that they think matter. She's really smart. And there's too few of us. It's too easy to be the best. Without real competition, there's no point in even trying. Hmm. Hmm. Is that why you didn't run for president? Because you don't think there's a point? Do you really think that you would have had a chance if I had tried? Yeah, I do. I ruled the whole I ruled this whole class when I was just a little girl. Everybody wanted to be in my gang. And you were part of it, Elsa. You and Louisa and Catherine. You can't have forgotten. No, of course not. Maybe you didn't always do everything I asked, but you were still mine. Alright. So I had all that, but it got boring, so I stopped. What should I why should I bother trying it again now? Uh, hey, you do you. I don't really have an answer. Althea climbs her feet and stretches. Thanks for the picnic. I'll see you around. I increase by five. Okay. Whew. Okay. Alright, guys. We're getting close to the Harvest Festival. Let's begin the week. The student council has been summoned for a general meeting. Okay. Hurry up already. Some of us have things to do. Yes, we're all here now. What do you need? Um, the Harvest Festival is next week. No, I don't want to give away because I don't want to give away anything. Midterms are this week. 
which is why it's important that all council members dedicate time to their studies so that we're prepared. Absolutely. We're supposed to be shining examples of the bells of St. Claude's. Claudine's. Bad grades don't look good. We have to do well, even if that means taking some time off from some of our other responsibilities. What happens if we fail? You'll lose your position. Eep! They're just tests. We have tests all the time. You pass, you're done. And after the midterms, next week we'll have the Harvest Festival, where our president and her chosen partner will be feted as queens. Interesting. You have to choose someone? Summer queen and winter queen. That's how it works. She can pick whomever she wants, whether it's the prettiest or the smartest or the girl she likes the most or just the name out of a hat. How about it, Rowan? Want to be a queen? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Not especially. Um, we should get back to business. I believe we were talking about midterms. Right. I'm sure everyone will do their best. Everyone seems a bit more stressed out now. Okay, I guess I didn't do well. <laughs> Great. 12. New case 12. Lorraine will be representing St. Claudine's at the citywide writing competition on October 21st. Her performance will reflect the school. Make sure she's up for the challenge. New case 13. The well-known best friends Mar Maricela and Darcy have been conspicuously avoiding each other. Make sure that nothing is dramatically wrong. And everybody is gone. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright, awesome. Fragile genius. Well, question. Let's go. Ooh, whoops. I'm totally psyched for the writing competition. Sure you are. Bye, Mallory. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to let some of their stresses go down, so... Darcy is ignoring me and I don't know why. Uh -huh. Let's see. 73, 34. Don't worry, I'm definitely gonna win. <laughs> Alright, I mean, she seems fine. I mean, she seems like she's okay. She doesn't seem like she's really all, like she really has an issue. Hmm. Should I stalk her, maybe? Let's do observation and stealth. Yeah, stalk. Oof. Mm. No, I don't think I'm gonna go for that. Well, I mean, I have to, though. Don't, well, I should wait for Rowan to come back, and then I'll stalk her. In the meantime, let's see what's going on with Darcy and the rest of these people. Okay, let's do Mildred. Question. And question her, because it doesn't matter. Done. Okay. 75, 55. All right, Mar Mar Maricel is jealous because Darcy made a new friend. Interesting. 72, 66. There's nothing going on. Marcel and I are still friends. Hmm. Okay, you, I'm gonna. Yeah. Alright, um. Hmm. Let me see. Friendly chat, it did not go well. Marcella claimed that Darso, Darcy was ignoring her. French, she was confident. Claimed that Mar Maricella was upset because Darcy had a new friend. But there's nothing wrong. Stop. 
Um, we'll just send those two out and see what, what gets done. 58 and 20. Okay, Lorraine doesn't seem to know she's flying around, but you don't learn anything new. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that girl then. She seems fine. I don't know what's going on. It's not my business. Okay. Oh my god. Uh. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> Versus character set up. Okay. Um. Okay, I need to go back and deal with Maricela again. should try Darcy. I mean, I think she really should fess up with what's going on. But that's clearly not going to work. And it's Friday. So I have to, I have to solve this today? I'm totally not going to solve this today, am I? Well, we might as well make the gamble then. Okay. Uh, we're not doing good on these. What? Darcy's ignoring me and I don't know why. Okay, Darcy, what the heck? Come on. I think Marcel is jealous because I've been spending time with other people. So we solved it, right? No, of course not. Uh, uh, this is hard. Man. Maybe I should be harassing more people instead of questioning everybody. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Let's see if Ron wants to go. Um, would you like to go to a movie? Uh, a movie? I. You wonder if she's going to refuse, but then suddenly. Okay. Maybe because it's quiet, she'll like it. The cinema front is decorated with poster f posters for various films and a marquee of showtimes. Uh. Let's look at the list together. Okay. Currently on offer are animated children's films, something about gangsters, something with guns and opera singers, a historical romance, and some sort of dance film. Uh, anything's fine. Whatever you want. Um. Let's do Dragon's Pilot. You buy your tickets and proceed into the theater together. Settle in to watch an animated adventure about a fantasy world where tame dragons are used for commercial air travel, carrying pods of passengers strapped to their bellies. A young girl wants to become a dragon pilot. Her parents disapprove. She accidentally releases a dragon dragonling from the pens and mayhem ensues. In the end, she becomes an unlikely hero and receives a kiss from a handsome prince and thanks. Well, good. When the credits begin to roll, Rowan touches your hand, indicating that you should wait for the crowds to clear out before leaving. Okay. Outside, she offers you a hesitant smile. That was nice. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, it was. She nods as if nothing else needs to be said. Can we go now? Yeah. Did, we did- no, no, we did that with Althea. Open night? You mean we get to reform? That sounds like fun, actually. Wait, are you going to reform? I wasn't planning on it. Good. <laughs> it would distract from my spotlight, you see. One beautiful young school girl, all in white. That's a novelty. Two is a field trip. Two means comparisons. I'd win, of course, but it wouldn't be the same. She tosses back her hair. Anyway, shoo. I have to get ready. I'll meet you later. See, I, I think I enjoy, like, seeing her on the weekends the most. She's hilarious to me. The coffee house is a warm, intimate space. Yes, we read through that. Dias arranges her performance slot while you carry the drinks back to the table. When she when her turns come when her turn comes, Dias walks onto the stage with her head down, her long hair hanging over her face. All of a sudden, her hair, her head snaps up, her eyes blazing. I am the orange with the razor inside. I'm the poisoned kiss. She goes on like this, piling up colorful and violent imagery with manic fervor. 
Several short-haired college women in the audience look practically entranced. <laughs> At last, she cuts off her poem in what sounds like the middle of a phrase and freezes in place, her hand upraised, upraised, yeah, then slowly lets it fall. As the audience applauds, Thias walks back to your table. I think that went well, don't you? Uh, yeah, I liked it. Good. Thias sits back with her drinks to watch the rest of the lineup perform. Thanks for coming here with me, Elsa, tonight, Elsa. I really appreciate it. And you should appreciate it as well. You have witnessed a limited edition performance. Yes, I appreciate it, Thais. No, no, no autographs. Speak to my manager. She is so fun. I am, I am your manager. <laughs> well, for the moment. I believe we should be heading back now, hmm? Mustn't overexpose. Let's go. Increase by five. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Well, <laughs> we're having kind of a hard time. I think I'm going to end it here for the time being. And because um, since we have the Harvest Festival, we have something interesting coming up. So if you like the video, please hit the like button. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave me some suggestions in the comment section. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.